Welcome to the Titanium Accelerator Database Tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create an app that will insert data into a database table, query the database table and show you how you can display the results of that query in the app. So the app itself will allow the user to enter a first name, so I'm going to give it a first name of Jeff for example. Uh, the user can then enter a surname in this text box, so Smith. I'm going to click Next, and we're going to insert Jeff and Smith into a database table. And we get an alert saying a full name inserted, so we click OK. And we then go to this text box here, and we're going to search for a surname relating to the first name Jeff. So we're looking for any surnames relating to the first name Jeff uh, in the database table. So we click Get Surname and we can see that Smith appears in this text box and it is the same as the data which we inserted earlier. So we know it works. So this is the app that we are going to create using Titanium Database Module. So before I begin coding, I'm going to tell you about the uh, database file itself. So I've got a database file on here under the resources folder called test.db. So if I open that up, we can see that we get some uh, SQLite uh, code. Um, but the bit of code that I'm interested in is this part of the code right here, the create table, uh, SQLite uh, code. And the table that we're creating is called test table. And inside test table, we're giving it two columns, name and surname. And they both have data type of text. So in the example I've shown earlier, I insert Jeff and Smith into a database table. Uh, now Jeff would fall under the name column and Smith would fall under the surname column. So that's the data that we inserted uh, into our database table. So let's go ahead and uh, build this app. So first of all I'm going to build the window that holds all our text boxes and buttons. So if I go here and open app.js and I'm going to make a new line, I'm going to create this window, so I'm going to call it var window equals titanium dot ui dot create window and it has a number of properties um, and I'm just going to give it uh, two properties. I'm going to give it a title which is authoring titanium hyphen database and I'm going to give it another property. I'm going to give it a background color of white so I'm just going to give it a hex value of FFF. So, okay, so that's our window created. So we see we've got the title there, all thing titanium hyphen database, and the background color of that uh, window is indeed white. Now let's go ahead and build this text box and then build this button. Now I'm only going to show you how to build uh, this text box and button because the rest of the text boxes and buttons can be built in a similar manner to what I'm going to show you right now. Um, but I'm going to tell you the variable names that are related to these text boxes and buttons after I built uh, these two elements right here. So first of all I'm going to build this text box so I'm going to make a new line. I'm going to say var input text box name equals titanium dot ui dot create text field it's going to have some properties so the first property is hint text add in hint text I'm going to give it a string please type in a first name and now I'm going to position that text box so I'm going to say top 50, uh, left 10, and now I'm going to give it a width of 200, 
and a height of 40. And I'm going to give another property called editable, and I'm going to set it to true so that the user can enter text in their text box. By default, it's already set to true anyway, but uh, I just want to show you okay, that property. So now I've created that text box, I'm now going to create uh, the button get surname. So like before I'm going to create a new variable, so var, and I'm going to call it query button, because we're querying the database. And it's titanium.ui.create button. And I'm going to give another number of properties. So I'm going to give a title, so the text inside the button. And the title is going to be the same as the one that's in the app, so get surnames, close single quotations there. And I'm going to position it now, so top is going to be 90, left is going to be 10, and I'm going to give it a height of 40. Now that we have uh, built this uh, text box and button, we need to add it to our window. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say window. Dot. I'm going to give it an add method, and I'm going to add the uh, text box. So I'm going to get the name, which is input text box name. And I'm going to add the button. So window dot add bracket query. So there, so we've added uh, this text box and this button to our window. So for the rest of the uh, text boxes and button, I'm going to show you uh, what names I've given them. So for this uh, text box right here, I've called it text area answer. I've positioned it top left, given it a width and height, and I've set its editable property to false because we don't want the user uh, entering text uh, inside that text area. The next one is uh, this text box right here, and I've called it input text box first name. And again, I've given it some uh, hint text, positioned it with the top left property, uh, gave it a size. Uh, width and height property and set its editable property to true. And the uh, next text box is this one right here that holds the value Smith. Uh, I've called it uh, input text box surname. Uh, I've given it some hint text surname. I've positioned it, uh, given it a top and left property, uh, given it width and height and I've set its editable property to true. And uh, this button right here, uh, called insert name, is has been given a name insert button because we're inserting data into the database table. Uh, I've given it a title called insert name. Uh, I've positioned it top left and I've given it a height of 40. So that's our app elements uh, built on into our window. Now I'm going to show you the service side uh, of this app by introducing you to the titanium.database uh, module. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to install the test.db uh, database uh, onto our smartphone. So I'm going to make a new line and I'm going to type in titanium and it's going to be dot .database, so I'm using the module, dot .install. Now the install uh, method has two arguments. The first argument is the path to the database file. So as we can see here, it is inside the resources file. So it's a type uh, string. So I'm going to open close single brackets and I'm going to type dot dot forward slash resources forward slash test dot db. So I am pointing to that uh, database file within our file structure. And the second uh, argument uh, for the dot install method is uh, the name of the database. Now we can give it any name, so I'm just going to uh, call it uh, db1. 
and it is of type string. So that's how we install our database onto our smartphone. Now I'll only do it once uh, if the database doesn't exist on the phone. If the database already exists on the phone, uh, then the install method uh, won't happen. So now let's go ahead and create this part of the app right here that inserts data into a database table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line. I'm going to create a function. And I'm going to call it insert name. And this function is going to have two parameters. The first parameter is going to be first name. And the second parameter is surname. Now I'm going to create the event listener for this button that's going to pass the values Jeff and Smith to this function. So when the user clicks this button, these two values will be taken to this function insert name and passed on into these two parameters. So I'm going to get the name of that button, so insert button dot add event listener and it has two parameters. Uh, add event listener. The first parameter is the name of the event, so it's going to be a click event, so when the user clicks the button. And the second parameter of the add event listener uh, function is the callback function. So it's just going to be simply function. And I'm going to open uh, curly brackets. Now I'm going to call this function right here insert name. So I'm just going to type insert name. And I'm going to pass on the values of those two text boxes to this function. So the first one is going to be the name of this text box right here. So I think it was called input first name. We're going to get the value of that text box. So in the example, the value inside that text box was Jeff. And I'm going to use a dot to string method to turn it into a string value. I'm going to pass on now the surname uh, to the function into the surname parameter. So again, I'm going to say input text box surname dot value dot to string. So every time the user clicks th this button, insert name they're going to call this function insert name and insert name is going to be expecting two values to be stored in the first name and surname parameter and the values that are going to be s stored in the first name parameter is the value inside this text box so in the example we said it was Jeff and the value that's going to be stored in the surname parameter is going to be the value of this text box so in this example I'm going to store Smith in the surname parameter.